Hello everyone, Drentia here, and welcome back to a Medieval. So, last time we got through the Dominion of the Sentinels, and now we're going to the Sacred Path. Journeyman's Way. Ah, I see. Oh cool, we're starting off with the, the Star of Torment, huh? This gives me hope and also scares me, because what will I need this for if unless there's things that can fuck me up immediately? Oh, got rock people. I'm down. Get overkilled. So man, you know, it, it's been... It, it's the next day from the first four episodes, recording-wise. And uh, man, you know, I was doing things today. The fuck are those? And I've just been thinking about a medieval. Like, I was uh, rendering... Like episodes three and four, like editing, rendering them, and just kind of hanging out and doing everything. I was just thinking about, man, I want to play medieval right now. And I mean, hey, you know, uh, by the time I'm uploading this, it's probably still the Steam, the Steam Summer Sale. Go fucking buy a medieval, and by dusk, there's a, a combo pack. Uh oh, yeah, just freaking buy them. Buy, buy these games. Very good. Okay. So, good to know. Star of Torment, not very good for rock boys. But, the Celestial Claw, very good for rock boys. Star of Torment, very good for the green lizard boys. My lizard, I mean, I don't know. Uh, whatever those are. You know, let's go figure that out right now. Let's see if, hopefully it doesn't spoil the enemies for me. Um... Those protectors. Creeper. Vines brought brought to life uh, by the evil force itself. Alright. Well, alright. That's good to know. Uh, creepers. Always green. At least these ones don't explode. At least not yet, anyways. Now, I would like to go back to the location I just was, because there was health up there, and I would like that health because... Uh, I need health to live. I think that's pretty fair to say, you know. I don't think anyone can fault me on that. Uh, I just went to a giant circle. Do I have to go down? No. No, because it's just down here, duh. Sure. Yeah, so I need to open that up. Oh, probably by maybe, I don't know, hitting this. That doesn't work. Alright, I'll, I'll come back to that. I'll just keep going. Hey, look, health. Okay, hey, this is where I started. As you can tell, I'm very good at figuring out locations. A uh, secret area. Oh. I just got owned. Look off. Actually, what are the stats looking like? Seven secrets, 118 kills. Now, the one thing that I think this game really benefits from design-wise is that sees how there's kind of a... there's an intended progression. They don't really have to hold back on, like, enemy counts and stuff in, like, the first stage of a, uh, of a subsequent episode after the first one. I mean, of course, it's always a good idea to, you know, kind of ease them into position a little bit. But I'm just saying... Well, what I'm saying here is I don't... There's something about this I don't trust. I don't know. I guess I'm just thinking too hard about it. I don't know. I, I just... It's a nice uh, design decision. Maybe there's a switch that will open that up. Find the gold key to ascend. Yeah, the gold key was under some stuff. Alright, so this lowers this. There's writing over there. Uh, I think I should be able to walk on this. And then get this. Journeyman's Way leads to the Apostle's Shrine. Yeah, 
this is what it's already was. It's just a bit different because that whole bridge came down, you know? Whatever, I'll go back through here. I didn't I don't think I went this way. I think it's where that secret ended up dropping me. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting a bit of bearings on everything. Let me just jump into the lava, by the way. Intelligent gameplay decision making. Alright, okay, I guess we're just going over here now. I can't tell if like, that's a crack in the wall or something. Right, there's Okay, maybe that's where this will, will take me when I get the gold key. Can I walk? No, that's probably a little too steep to walk up. Right, I'm going back over here. Where was that room with the switch and the key? That was this room. Oh, did I miss this earlier? <laughs> I may have. Those who are lost never look upwards. Oh. What's up, big stone boys? Now I know I could just, you know, celestial claw these dudes, but... It gave me a Voltride, and I want things to explode. Thank you very much. Uh, I won't grab that health at the moment. Just because if I end up getting hurt a little bit more, and I wasted it for four health, then I just look like a complete another asshole, you know? This does not seem to work still. I'll try a rocket. Uh, you just blew up the earth. <laughs> well, uh, sucks to be the earth right now, I'll tell you that. I guess I'm dead too. Whatever timeline. I mean, this... Obviously something I'm missing. Oh. Hey, I wonder where, how to get this key. Uh, let's just... What is this? Planet jumping? Oh, it doesn't work all the way. Come on. You trying to pull a fast one on me, video game? Alright, fine. I'll just go collect health and wonder why I wasted rockets on hurting myself, essentially. Then go across. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. This is where I fell down when I was trying to get health originally. The protectors cannot stand weapons of chaos. Okay, so what do you know? I just had to go up to the one place I fell originally. Oh, no. I was like, oh, man, don't tell me you're just gonna... Okay. Well... God. How much I had that sword moment? Look how... How was I supposed to know I was gonna get swarmed by enemies when I jumped down there after grabbing a key item and heard them spawn? Uh, yes, gold keys, so we just need to go down the bridge. And take a right. And let's fall. Hey, speaking of swords that I wanted. Alright, so this seems like a room I'm very grateful I kept my... Uh... Soul power mode for. But I feel like enemies are gonna spawn up above there. Then I can just spam them with homing projectiles. Ah, uh, yes, I love the fact that one rocket just instantly overkills them. Hey. I mean, look, I, it's okay if I hit you from range with uh, a, a circular orb thing. Uh, you know, a rock from the sky. Well, you cannot do that to me from a range. That upsets me greatly. Now, I... I think I feel pretty okay about my mana at the moment. If I need mana later, I will, you know, come back here before I beat the stage. Okay, so we got a silver key. What is this? Wire makes the vine creatures stronger. Alright, so I guess be mindful of fire. The way is clear, yet murky. I'll put, the, I'll put my rocket launcher away for a minute. 
battle, so I kind of feel like I should experiment to see how much tougher it is these guys get. But at the same time, I'm a little uh, concerned. Now this this weapon, the Star of Torment, is a little weird because like it doesn't go exactly where you think it is. It kind of goes a little bit off to the side, you know. I have the sword now. Okay, so they're not nearly as allergic to this as they are the star. But again, just about anything's allergic to the star of torment. Goodbye. The pro protectors lie in wait for those that would traverse the sacred path. night to you guys. And hey, they're giving me some free green mana after using so much. That's nice. Uh, how much get blue mana? I don't need it that much. I might grab that later as well. Okay, so this bridge happened. So maybe something else happened in here with this red thing? No. No. I I'm just beyond lost. Beyond saving for that one. Don't know exactly the best way to take out those guys yet. Alright, okay. So I can go straight now. I'm at my little baby health. Alright, so this is coming back up. Might as well just take a jump, you know? Right, any last surprises you have for me before you get all the way up here? I, I just love watching it just kind of fly in a pencil position into a wall. Excuse me, I don't know how much further back I can really walk before I fall. I know I have the soul mode I've been literally holding on to the entire time, but that's just how it's got to be. Is there a switch? No, it's just a health orb. Which I'll probably be able to get once I get up here. This rock on just got a pretty good rate of fire. Okay, how do you react to planets? Do not give a crap about planets. Well, at least you're not as lurching as your rock friends over there. You can have rock friends. Give me that mana. Now there's the other health on the opposite side over there. I have to go down. But it's probably worth it. There's also like this weird little bit of momentum when you jump. Which is why I, you know... Those two jumps were very uh, static and cowardly. Protects the way, the giant. Okay, we're getting some outside stuff right here. I'm liking this. And just by outside, I mean we have a sunroof. There's a sunroof in the, the tomb. Okay, how many planets does it take to kill you? Oh, we have a lot, by the way. So much screen shaking. Okay. He's dead. Anyone else having the last minute things they want to say? What I thought. Well, I mean, I guess I might as well pick up all these souls just in case anything else spawns, you know? You can never be too careful. Oh, I guess I don't really have an accurate reading on how many... And it takes to kill a giant because, well, I use my soul power finally. Which I'm sure that's probably annoying to look at if you're a viewer. Like, I kind of just tune out the sides of the screen because I know there's like a weird kind of. Uh. There's like the weird side thing going on. Which way is out? Hey, yeah, I think I found the way out. Okay. 
gonna say, I thought there was one more. I don't know if that was him. Let me just walk into the fire as well. Path opens from below. I guess let's see. Ooh, I'm almost out of that. So let's just uh I don't like I like a discus throw going on. And I know I have that BFG as well, but I'm not using that at all right now, because what's the point? Just gotta wait for him to pull up the rock. I can start doing my little dance. Hey, well, you know, that worked. Uh, Speedrun strats, I got up here a little bit quicker. Hey, that, that guy eats up a lot of my uh, blue mana. Ooh, hey. A lot of them. It's like this, like, there was like one of them who was just consistently throwing things at me. And so then there's more above me? Man, I should probably hit the switch. Which I'm assuming the switch does something to open something in there. Yeah, well, I was gonna like maybe turn around there for a second, but... Never mind.